Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is 24K. If you're new here, today I'm going to be doing a sunscreen review. <laughs> totally forgot what I was doing. But today I'm going to be reviewing some sunscreen from Black Girl Sunscreen, um, the SPF 30, the SPF 50, and the spray, the Make It Glow SPF 30. So stay tuned. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and start with the SBF 30 because this is the very first one that I um, I purchased ever. This one I have purchased at least four times. You can get it in some Walmarts and Target. Mainly Target is where I find mine and I buy it. I think I've probably bought it at um, Ulta before as well. But this is the SBF 30. So like most chemical sunscreens, this one goes on super, super easy. And there is absolutely no cast at all. It does have jojoba. It has avocado in it and some other things. But I know this is super, super easy to apply. That is a big deal for me. I hate having the like sunscreens that is really hard to apply, especially when I'm out and about. I ain't got time to be messing around with it. The only thing I do is wash my hands and then I apply it to my face without any problem. I don't have to check to make sure it's looking decent because I know it's going to be clear every time I apply it. Now I decided not to put any makeup on because I wanted to try all of them on my skin for you. So I'm going to be washing my face quite often today. Well, for this video, at least three times. So um, this is the packaging. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but this is the packaging. This has been out for such a long time. Um, it's the original formula. So here it is. It is white. Here you go. Yeah. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So it goes on so easy. This is my favorite. Oh, it goes on so easy. Look, nothing. And most sunscreens are, no most sunscreens, most chemical sunscreens are going to give you this, um, no cast look because I think it's the zinc oxide in mineral sunscreens that give you that white cast. They do have some um, sunscreens out that claim that they don't have any white cast and they are mineral and they don't have a different kind of zinc oxide in it, but I have not found the best of luck. I have not had the best of luck in finding those, but this is the SPF 30. And what I really love about it is it gives you a natural glow. So all through the winter, this is this is the one that I go to. Forget that all through the summer and the winter, I go through this like, I don't know what, because I love my skin to look nice and moisturized and it's glowing. Is it not? It's glowing, yeah. But yeah, I love this. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more because I love it. I'm gonna have to see, I'm already running out. Let me, I'm gonna apply a little bit more because yeah, I'm gonna layer that on top of it. Look at that, just glowing, yes. This is one of the best sunscreen I've ever, ever tried, ever. So this one is the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Hybrid. It's the Mineral Combo Sunscreen. This is SPF 50. I was really excited to see this one because um, I really like mineral sunscreens, but I don't like um, the white cast that it gives. So majority of the time, if I do a mineral sunscreen, I'm going to have to apply foundation over it or moisturize my face really, really well. For the first application, I probably won't apply it again. The texture is pretty creamy and with with all of them, I make sure I shake them up really well. So I'm going to demonstrate what this looks like on my face. My face is clean. So the texture is, it looks right out the gate, looks a little bit like the SPF 30. The only difference is it does contain lavender. It says fragrance free. So it just probably has the ingredient lavender in it. And lavender does have a fragrance to it. But that's immediately what I realized was different when I first tried it out. It's a lot thicker in texture, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my face.
out. So I'm still currently blending it into my face. It does blend in really nicely. Um, it's a little bit thicker than the SPF 30, but I've had worse. Um, so this is what it looks like. The formula is a little bit more drying after it's been on your face for a while. It's not as bad as a lot of other um, mineral sunscreens are, but I do see a little bit of a cast. So if that is something that's going to bother you, I don't think this is going to be the one for you. Um, it just, it just isn't. This one is not as glowy as the SPF 30 either. Um, and like I said, you do smell that lavender smell. A lot of people really like lavender because it's, you know, it's relaxing or whatever. It's, it it kind of reminds me of like a spa. It's very, it's very lavendery, but it's not horrible. Um, I haven't had any issues, you know, with my allergies or whatever, or whatever. Um, but I do know whenever I apply in a room, everybody's like, yeah, I can smell you applied your sunscreen. There's lavender, but it's not an, a bad smell at all. I can definitely tell the difference between the SPF 50 and the SPF 30. Mainly the lavender scent, um, it's a little bit thicker of a formula and it does leave just a smidge of a cast. It's not a horrible cast, I've had worse, but it does have a smidge of a cast. And this one, um, you know, like any other chemical sunscreen, you're just not gonna get that. So it's really up to you which one you prefer. All right, so since it's been on my face for a little while, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second layer and let you guys see what it looks like. I like to rub it into my hands, you know, get it nice and warm. And then, So when you apply it, you get way more, you see a lot of the, the white of it. So I'm just gonna keep blending it in and see if that helps it disappear. Okay. Get my hairline. Alrighty. So this is the second coat of um, the Black Girl Sunscreen SPF 50. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think. I obviously can see a little bit more of the white cast the second time. And I think that's really um, the issue a lot of people have with SPF 50. If you are of a darker skin complexion is because you don't get to apply it as often because of the white cast. Now, I think as time goes, it kind of dissipates, you know, it just kind of slowly blends in. And like I said, I always like to just apply like a, a skin tint or a really nice um, everyday foundation on top of it because it kind of helps with that. Yeah, so this is the SPF 50. Make it hybrid. I went ahead and washed my face because it was obvious it was after the second coat there was a lot more product on my face and I wanted to be nice and clean for the next one that I'm going to show you guys which is the Make It Glow also in Black Girl Sunscreen. So I just noticed that it locks but somehow um, a little bit spilled in my purse so I noticed that. So I don't know if maybe I bumped it around but I was just like oh good to know. But um, that made some of it come out and it's already like down to the wire here um, because of that. But I don't know, that's probably just my bad. What I did notice is um, the spray, if you hold it too close to your face, that spray is gonna get in your face and your nose and you're gonna start coughing. Hold it out, <laughs> hold it out. Do not, do not try to be convenient and cute and put it on your face like this because I did it and I regretted it because I was inhaling. <laughs> The spray, but I really do like the convenience of the spray. So it's a dry to touch spray. And like I said, hold it out. Don't put it too close to your face. Um, I would have liked for it to me to be able to put it close to my face, but it's a sunscreen guys. It is not a setting spray. <laughs> I think I'm so used to having a setting spray. I just started doing this thing and baby, you don't want to do that. It'll get in your nose and your eyes and 
Mm -mm. This is a good idea. So usually what I do, if I want it on my, hand, my face, instead of me spraying it directly to my face, clean hands, I spray it out on my hands like that and I rub it and then I apply it to my face. Now I would like to put a little bit more. Rub it and apply it to my face. Now I do like this formula because it's glowy, but it's not greasy at all. And it's really interesting that it, it's like this and it's like um, a spray. I really like that about it. Um, very, very nice. And it is giving glow. Can you guys tell? Can you tell? I love that. I really, really, really love that. I love it. And my skin is nice and hydrated. It's not oily. You're not going to feel greasy unless you have oily skin and you hate to have anything glowy. But I just really like it. It just, it's really nice. Really nice. And of course, no cast. No cast. I'm going to apply um, a little bit more just to, so you guys can see what it looks like layered mm -hmm. just some more goodness i tell you and of course you know sometimes i do it on my hands too and i'll apply it to my body yeah so this is a really good formula i love this formula so as you guys can see i don't directly <laughs> spray it to my body i like putting it on my hands and then rubbing it because it really helps control the product like it's not going to get everywhere but i like to get it where i need it look at that hands are nice and glowy yeah this is a really good formula like i said no cast very very good very good formula so also this it's really good whenever you have makeup on you know so um like i said i'm going to show you guys how i apply um sunscreen after i put makeup on i got the idea from someone here on youtube and this is what i've been doing if i can remember so if i'm out i may apply sunscreen on top of my makeup at least once because you know we all forget but like i said it is what it is so if i could rate them all i would rate the spf 30 body lotion my first favorite because it's very hydrating it stays hydrating for a long time it gives my face a nice natural glow and it's cast free the second one i would say is the spf 30 um because like that is a nice healthy glow i really love that and it's very convenient um it's just another way of getting your spf on it's not that big of a it's not that big of a difference from this one in my opinion besides the fact that it sprays on and then the last one i would say is my last favorite is the spf 50 only because um i do have to work with it a little bit more because it does have a slight cast to it but a lot of times if i can remember and i'm applying my um, makeup i'll use this as a primer prior to putting my makeup on because i really really love spf 50 but it is what it is but um this is this, actually the second bottle that i bought of the spf 50 so it's not like i hate it i actually like the formula um but i would just probably reach for these a lot quicker if it's like a hurry up and i need to hurry up and get one on my face quickly because i don't have to worry about um putting it in rubbing it in really well and i don't have to worry about the cast you know that's just my personal opinion. And I do wear makeup with all of these. So that is it for this video. I honestly give all of these products a 10 out of 10. I already told you guys in order which I would rate them, but I love all of them. Um, the SPF 50 is not something that I will say I hate. I just like the other two better than this one. I have also tried the, um, the SPF 50 for kids. If you guys want me to do a review on that one, please let me know. Um, leave that down in the comment section or give me a thumbs up that will let me know that you want me to do a review on the Black Girl Sunscreen SPF 50 for kids. So at this point, I think the only thing I haven't tried from Black Girl Sunscreen is a lip gloss. So let me know what you think about this video. I would love to have your opinion. And also it would also help other people down in the comment section if you have used any of these and um, you just want to let us know how you feel about them. Go ahead and leave that down in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It lets YouTube know that you like this content and you can see me anytime I upload.
Won't that be fun? <laughs> All right, so that is it for the video. I hope you guys are being safe out there. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. She loving the likes. She living the life, yeah. She Instagram famous. You know that it's dangerous. Baby, you famous. Instagram famous. Body on 10, your body on 10. Shout out, you banging, oh yeah. We gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now. Okay. We gon' get paid now, we gon' get paid now.